What's up, guys? It's your Motivational Gamer, and welcome to Conan Exiles. This game recently dropped one into early access on... What day was it? The 31st-ish? Something like no, it was the 30th, 9 p.m. So when it started. So we've been we've been trying to go hardcore uh, and, you know, trying to contest for a server. I want us to take a little bit, bit of time and, and, and talk about Conan itself as a game and kind of give you guys a better idea of what it's like when you initially get started in Conan. So when you guys get rolling, you have the option. Obviously, you're in exile. You, you, they have a very advanced character creation system um, that I think is really, 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 really good. Um, obviously, are there uh, games with better creation systems out there? Of course. Uh, but in terms of comparison, like Ark, where everybody really just looks the same and then they just throw beards at you to just say, hey, we do think about you sometimes. <laughs> this this game, uh, they really went the mile um, in actually creating a system that can help you feel uh, more like a unique hero in the, the, the land of Hyboria. <laughs> All right. And you don't have to look the same, like she said. My daughter said, you don't have to look the same. Um, so when you first start, you guys will select a race. Uh, each race has a, has basically um, some kind of description about them. I mean, you can randomize the race. It doesn't matter. You can randomize the look. Um, sorry, you can randomize the look, not the race, but you have to pick the race. Um, when you The next tab up, you guys will select your religion. Now, keep in mind, when you guys select your religion, a lot of these religions have different benefits. Uh, you know, for instance, like Yogg has blessed armor, uh, Set has swords and stuff like that that you guys can get later. Uh, Krom is basically the god that you want to worship if you don't really want to worship a god. And Mitra also comes with her own benefits. Now, in terms of voice, obviously it's self-explanatory. You can choose whatever one you want. In terms of tone, you can pick your skin color, uh, you can, your face shape, but you're not limited to what your particular hero looks like. We're going to change this hair. Right now, I look like Fallout Boy. <laughs> Change these eyebrows, cause we are not about that life. I'm gonna make them black. Boom! There it is. Jump shot. All right. So, uh, cosmetics you can add, makeup if you're into that. Um, I won't judge. And then face details. I mean, you guys can do you know everything that you guys need to do here. Uh, change your cheekbone, jawline, um, you know, all that good stuff ears eyes now they currently don't have facial hair which I don't really understand uh, it's kind of grayed out maybe it's a feature that's gonna come later uh, but the beautiful thing about this is you can recreate your character at any time you can make them a midget you can make them tall well not really a midget but you know kind of meet them in between and then you just kind of go from there uh, you can do the the physique and all that other jazz and you guys are good to go so when you guys first get into the world I mean there's a couple of things uh, that you're gonna want to do I'm gonna skip through this cutscene here because I'm sure you guys are gonna watch this on your own um, so we'll just skip through all of that uh, yes I'm on a single-player uh, server here let me grab my controller uh, when you guys first start out in the game um, there's some big things that you guys want to do you guys want to pay attention to uh, the simple lore uh, there will be some, you know, the stone up here that you can activate. I'm not going to activate it today. <laughs> but uh, you guys will basically make it uh, into the land of Hyboria. Now keep in mind, especially in early access, this game, uh, they made the desert available to us. And this is the first of four biomes before they extend the map. So basically, from what it looks like, this is like the bottom left corner of the map, potentially. Um, and then this will extend. Uh, they said the total size of the map is going to be 53 square kilometers. When you get into the game, uh, you know, you'll have your basic stats here. When you level up, you'll be able to choose how your character um, develops. Like, you can go into strength, you can go into survival, uh, you can go into agility if you want to take less damage, vitality if you want more health. Um, you know, and as you go, you can learn recipes. Uh, like, let's say if you guys are running with the, with the clan like we are, uh, you can have certain people have certain specializations uh, to kind of even this up and have different focuses to come together as a team. Uh, this is a really, really, really good game. Um, and I feel it has a lot of potential. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's just an art copy. Well, yeah, probably because they use the same engine, right? The UE4 engine. Um, but at the same time, I feel like this is everything that Ark didn't do. So Ark... And this is just my personal opinion, uh, was really good because it gave you an opportunity to focus on building and taming uh, dinosaurs. 
But once you got done taming dinosaurs, it puts you in a situation where there's really nothing to do in the game uh, other than build or hatch babies or whatever, right? You know, and if you're into that, then that's your thing. But here, um, they've implemented NPC camps, NPC stories, they've introduced lore, they've introduced, obviously, dungeons that, that are there to explore, kind of like Ark. I mean, Ark kind of has caves and stuff, which is cool, um, but they've introduced a lot of stuff that I feel like Ark, if they would have focused on, uh, would have really came out on top. So... As we go through the game here, um, you know, again, I just kind of want to introduce the game. Yes, that's a flying bat. Uh, as you go through the game, you're going to pick up lore and you're going to learn all kinds of stuff here. Hold on, let's listen to this. Before the wind scoured the skin from our faces, there is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire or the bite of the axe. So, but yeah, so that's just to give you guys a sample of the lore. But like, in this, yeah, this game is, is so good. Uh, we, we've been putting a lot of hours in this game so far. Uh, but basically, as you come in, like you, you're up against everything. I mean, you got little imps running around. You're up against nature. You got crocodiles. All your basic stuff. You got to figure out what to craft, when to craft, how to craft, how to get stronger uh, as fast as possible. There's all kinds of things that you guys need to do here. Let me punch this imp in the face. You got different attacks, you got different weapon specializations you guys can focus on. Uh, there's dual wielding. Uh, you guys can capture slaves as you guys move forward. You guys can do uh, anything that you want. Literally, build your own kingdom, advance, become stronger, become better. And as you guys progress, literally you can create anything that you want to create um, in the game. They don't have terraforming, so you won't be able to really dig into the earth. Uh, but how they've created the game and the world is really good. And early access in terms of multiplayer, obviously they do have some issues with like internet connectivity right now. Um, and, you know, managing their servers because they grossly underestimated the amount of players that would be playing this game. But, you know, as with all things in time, things will sort themselves out. But as we continue doing this, um, I just wanted to give, I wanted to do this video to, for those of you guys who are curious to see what like the, uh, you know, the beginning of Conan is. Uh, so you guys can kind of see and kind of make a decision as to whether or not it's worth it for you to purchase the game or not. I say it's absolutely worth it. If it was a hundred bucks, I'd pay it <laughs> to play this game. It's really, really, really good. And what excites me is not just what its current state is, but what is the future of this game. Now, the rest of the videos will just be kind of be doing Let's Plays with friends and covering different aspects of the game to kind of help you guys get scored away as we learn the game as well. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Kind of, oh my God, ah! Mama, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um, and this helped kind of sway your mind or if you guys are already playing, uh, let, let us know. Maybe we'll run into you guys on the servers. So thank you guys so much as always for tuning in. This is your Motivational Gamer and we will see you guys next time. Peace.